Folks, my next guest is a stand-up comedian originally from Bogota, Colombia. Please welcome Pedro Gonzalez. Thank you. I am the fifth Pedro Gonzalez in my family. But I am the first one who gets to speak into a microphone with a plexiglass in front. <laughs> That's a good thing. Thank you. Uh, when I was born, my mom was 16 and my dad was 26. So I am my mom's first born and my dad's first felony. Just kidding, he'd be, just kidding, he'd been to jail before. <laughs> but it's a cute joke. I have a hooked nose, so when I was a child, my mom would massage my nose every night for five minutes to make it a straight. <laughs> so like, if you get really, really, really close to me and you look, you'll see I have a very little self-esteem. When I was growing up in Colombia, they did a Colombian version of who wants to be a millionaire, but they forgot millions in pesos and dollars is very different. So <laughs> the first contestant they ever had won like 300,000 million pesos. So the next day they had to change the name of the game to who wants to get kidnapped right after the show. <laughs> Just one sad episode. I like music. I think music creates memories that you never forget, like the first time you did something. Like, do you guys, for example, remember the exact song that was playing the moment when you lost your niece at the mall? <laughs> For me, it was Feliz Navidad. I got a master's in literature when I was only 22, and I got a job teaching college, but because I was so immature, I made a mistake. I slept with one of my students, but it was a community college and she was 47, so. <laughs> uh, who took advantage of whom, really? <laughs> I think I was the victim. She didn't break the law, but she broke my heart. I, I have done online dating. Uh, a lot of people think online dating is weird, but to me, online dating is just like looking for a job on the internet, you know? I send out 100 applications and uh, nobody replies because my name is Pedro. <laughs> and then the first thing that women post online is they won't even go on a date with you if you're below six feet. And it's like, have you ladies not read about the online dating killer that was in the news last week? 6'4", super jacked. It's so dangerous to go out with a guy like that. I started using that to my advantage. I started posting my height and my weight. 5'8", 145 pounds, and too weak to strangle anyone. <laughs> Hashtag little spoon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ever since I moved to the United States, uh, I've only dated white women, and my black and Latina friends get mad. They're like, what are you, racist? You don't like us? And I'm just like, no, it's just, I'm so bland that you guys don't like me. <laughs> white women are the only ones that I can trick into believing that I have flavor. <laughs> I'm like the chipotle of dating. <laughs> black and Latino women are like, you're not authentic. White women are like, ooh, queso. <laughs> <laughs> just cheddar, really, just cheddar. But uh, I found someone, she had this beautiful apartment in Midtown Manhattan that I moved into for the time that we dated. First night after I moved in, I had to meet her father. It turned out to be just like an old, wealthy dude. And he pulled me aside and he was like, look, I'll be honest with you, I don't like Hispanics because you come to this country and you live off the government. And I said, sir, I'll have you know that I'm Hispanic and I don't live off the government. I live off your daughter. <laughs> so get out of my house. Last month, I was at the Miami airport. Uh, I was trying to catch a connection to go home, 
and I was late. So I got into one of those moving walkways and I started tapping people saying, please let me through. And I tapped this big dude and he didn't like it. And he turned around. He said, I'm not going to move. And I said, sir, it's very crowded. He said, it's crowded because of people like you. Go back to your country. And I was like, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> but you're blocking me. <laughs> he was like, I'll help you get up there. And I stayed. He picked up my suitcase. He walked with me to the gate. And he waved me goodbye. And that's why I love this country. Because <laughs> everyone is so nice. My name is Pedro Gonzalez. Thank you so much. Tour dates are posted on his website, PedroGonzalezComedy.com. Pedro Gonzalez, everybody. We'll be